Week 11, day 5. Uh, woke up this morning. I'd say I had a decent night of sleep last night. Um, did shoulders this morning. And all of my sets, I just felt slightly weaker. Now, I hadn't done this workout in like 8 weeks, so it's been some time. But like even going back to Monday when I uh, was doing my chest shoulder try workout, like, I don't know, my shoulders just have felt weak. And I don't know if I'm just going through just a weak period right now. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm, my calories are dipping low because I'm doing only two meals a day. But then again, the rest of my workouts this week have been pretty good. So I don't know. I'll have to get back to you guys. Uh, I'll do chest shoulder try again on Monday of next week. And I'll do this, the same shoulder workout I did today. I'll do it a week from tomorrow. So next week, Saturday. And I'll let you know. Maybe they get better. Maybe they get worse. Maybe it stays the same. But I'll keep, I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, fasting today between lunch and dinner has been going great. I haven't been hungry at all. I've had great mental clarity. I think I might be starting to finally get used to skipping lunch. Um, and I'm enjoying the larger dinner. Uh, I haven't noticed any digestive things with eating about 100 grams of protein in one sitting. Other than... Just when I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, like having to go more. Same thing when I wake up in the morning and I use the restroom, like it's just more than what it typically is. And that makes sense because I'm eating way more than what I was before. Um, so, but yeah, not, nothing, no digestive discomfort, uh, just no issues in that front. Uh, tomorrow is a recovery day. Thank goodness my hamstrings are so sore. Probably with the leg workout from Tuesday, plus doing two days of cardio uh, the past few days. But yeah, looking forward to that recovery day tomorrow. And it's so important to have a recovery day in there because, and I saw this in a video a while back, if you're constantly hitting the gym every day, lifting every day, you're, you're not really giving yourself much time to recover. Yeah, when you're not lifting, your body is recovering and doing all that, but uh having one full day dedicated to, okay, I'm not going to lift any weights. I'm not going to do any cardio. I'm, I could do light stretching, foam rolling, maybe just some light yoga or Pilates stuff. Um, that, that stuff is totally fine. Like that, that's what I do on my recovery days. It's light stretching, some active stretching, um, sometimes some foam rolling, some yoga poses, but I'm not going to go crazy and do, you know, a full body split or something like that because your body needs that day to recover. And if you've noticed like for maybe a couple weeks where every workout you just feel like the last few reps you're just really struggling to get through, um, maybe you have to drop some weight in the set, that could be your body saying like, hey, you need to take a day or even maybe do like a deload week where you're focusing on uh, using like half the weight that you typically do. And it might seem like you're taking steps back when you do something like that and that you're like a weakling and all that, but you're not. Sometimes you need to take a step back to take three steps forward. And by doing a deload week where you're gonna maybe do more like tempo workouts where you're doing um, longer seconds in the eccentric and the, in the um, concentric motions so like you're doing a, a chest press you're going like one two three four five six and then maybe down for six you're not like if you're cranking out eight reps at i don't know 80 pound dumbbells you're not gonna be able to do eight reps six up six down like that you're gonna at 80 pounds you're probably gonna be doing maybe i don't know 20, 30 pounds, maybe 40 pounds max. So you're allowing the joints some some time to rest, but you're still activating the muscle. Like once you've built solid muscle and you're doing like a deload week just to like help your body recover, just the act of activating the muscle will preserve the muscle tissue. And in some cases you can even build muscle. So Doing a deload week where you're lifting maybe half the weight that you typically do or doing half the sets that you typically do where you're just activating the muscle, you're getting a good little pump, but you're not blasting that muscle group, 
then after that week is up, go back to your normal routine. I guarantee you, you will start to see results again. You will start to see that uh, that fatigue that maybe was settling in is kind of gone, and you're able to take those two, three, four steps forward. So work in that deload week or work in a recovery week. Um, I could do another video about different types of recovery weeks that I do, um, and I can go into that in the future. But, well, I'm almost done with week 11 here and just super proud of my progress and how everything's been going so far. Keep it locked in here on my channel. Please like and subscribe and continue to follow along with me as I go through this 26-week ketogenic bodybuilding prep. I'll see you all tomorrow.